Hello, all the loud cars. I'm on my way to Harabakoa. There's the camera. I'm on my iPhone. Um, I'm finally going to see my friend's baby and just hang out for the day, maybe the night. Um, and I'm gonna film some. It's super loud, sorry about that. No, Jarabacoa, muy bueno. Está el clima. El pueblo. La eterna primavera. La verdad. Tu cosa favorita de la de aquí, vida. De, Jarabaca, de, de dominicano sí. o de Jarabacoa. Dominicana. Dominicana. Bueno, la, las playas. ¿Y qué más? Los ríos también. Y una más. Y las mujeres. ¡Ay, coño! <ríe> Bizcocho, pizza. Sí, pica pollo. Pica pollo. Y me gusta, me gusta más helado a cobón. Helado. ¿Y te gusta mango? Sí, pero un poco. Un poco. Mucho no. no mucho. She likes some um, rice with con con. Con con's like that y really hard gusta. stuff on the bottom of the pot. Um. I forgot everything else she said. Mango. Pizza. A mí me gusta el salami. Salami. Me gusta el, el queso, el jamón. Cheese, ham. Wow, I can't do this with my me phone. Gusta. Me ¿Qué gusta. Me uh -huh. gusta. Los pepinos. Me gusta la manzana. Apples. Me gusta Mucha comida la uva. Te... Ok, ¿cuál comida no te gusta? Eh, me, no me gusta eh. la comida que no son saludables. ¿Cómo que? Vegenera me gusta. ¿Cuál? Vegenera. Ah, ok. ¿Te gusta? Me gusta eso. Te... That's eggplant. ¿Te gusta? A mí me gusta el aguacate. ¿Te gusta aguacate? Yo también. ¿Te gusta? Hmm. El café. ¿No te gusta el café? Sí, me gusta. ¿En serio? Sí. Claro que no. Oh, sí, porque yo no. Oh, pero tú no puedes pero beber. Tú esta mañana, mañana. Tú mira que yo no me voy a beber. ¿Tú vas a beber café en la mañana? Sí. Qué freca, no. ¿Cuál es tu cosa favorita en la escuela? ¿Qué te gusta me más gusta que hacer? Me gusta la masilla. Ah, ok. Me gustan los bloques. 
Los bloques sí son muy divertidos. Y me gusta. Jugando. No, no me gusta. No. Me gusta. El huevo, tú sabes, de colores. Ah, sí. El que hace una carrera y, y tumba, pone los colores en una hoja. Cada uno. Ah. Entonces yo lo pasé aquí en mi casa ahorita que lo venga mamá. Ya, yeah, ok. ¿Dónde este, está tu mami? Mamá Chara. No, tu mami. Está trabajando, Mariela. Está en trabajo. Mariela. Sí. Ay, ¿qué quieres decir? A, a, a tus fans. A mi familia me gusta. Mucho. Ah. Pero acá qué hay linda. Veces, no, porque me dan pela cada vez. ¿Y por qué? Que sí. ¿Por qué qué? Porque me puedo tomar la cara. Porque eres un, un poco que... Muy mañoso, pero un poquito. No te gusta escuchar. Pero con lo mami me hace cariño. Yo le digo que la quiero muchísimo. Y con, la verdad. Con los días me dice y me da pela. Yo la quiero un chinchi. Un tito. You're funny. Y tienes una amiga en, la, en, en tu clase. Sí, se llama Cristal. Cristal. Mayami me da un poco porque hoy oh, ella me hizo mucha maldad cuando yo estaba sentada. ¿Por qué? Porque me me me. me. Todas las veces ella me hace maldad. Ella, ella. Ella me da, me puja el autobogán. ¿Y qué hiciste? ¿Y ¿Tú? ¿Qué? ¿Qué hiciste tú? ¿Le coge? Cuando ella estaba haciendo eso. Eh, se lo digo a la pobre. ¿Y qué, qué hizo? Ah, pero ella me dijo una mala palabra. ¿Ella? ¿Cuál palabra? Sí. Dijo coño. Ella. Wow, tú sabes que tú no puedes decir esa palabra, ¿verdad? Yo no la digo porque después me. Es una palabra muy fea. Sí. You guys know that's pero, my favorite word. Pero. Pero sí que te lo lavo. Ay, me tienes una foto con él. Sí, ¿quieres una foto? Sí. Vamos. Miki, mira. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back from Harabokoa and um, it was great. It was so fast. I was there for like five hours, but um, I just love it up there so much. Um, I miss living there sometimes just because it's so like peaceful and you can ride the moto around. It's not, I wouldn't ride a moto in Santiago. Some good friends there, which is always nice. And it was funny though, because I felt, I haven't been there in like, four months maybe um which is crazy because it's only like 
an hour from Santiago, but I haven't had a chance to go up there. And even in the, that amount of time, I feel like they've made so many changes. So that uh, little coffee shop that I showed, um, it's super cute. And they have like the umbrellas above it on the street, which is really cool too. But if you search it on Instagram, like there's so many pictures in front of it. They have all those bikes that you can rent and um, ride around and I don't know, take pictures with and stuff. And it just seems like, I don't know, it's kind of like touristy. There's another new coffee shop too, I think. And there is a food truck place, which I've said in other videos that food trucks are so popular in Santiago. There's like, I don't even know, like five different kind of food truck neighborhoods have like a bunch of different options and stuff. So those are really popular. And now Hotabacol, I guess, is like picking up on it. I didn't even know. I didn't even hear. None of my friends told me that they open one up there, um, which is really cool and like more food options and fun. But it was like, I don't know, it felt more crowded. It felt like a little bit more like touristy or something. I don't know, maybe more people or just like maybe the time of day I was there. But it was, um, it was really good. It was really sad going up and down the mountain because um, the little part of the truck, the accident that happened last week, um, a semi collided with a bus and eight people died. Um, and it was unfortunately like a team of young Haitian soccer players. So that was really sad to see on the way up because the truck is just like absolutely pancaked. Um, so just so sad. Another reminder that driving is so dangerous, especially on that mountain. Um, so wear your seatbelts and drive slow. Also, Brianna is just so cute. Um, a few of my friends and I pay her tuition for the Christian school in Hadabokoa. And it's just awesome to see like what she's learning and um, she loves school. She's making a lot of friends and um, I love to be able to kind of like help her a little bit in a small way um, Be able to go to a better school and get kind of a head start or a little bit of a better education um, But as you can see like <laughs> she's so sassy. I love it um, I just love her love to hear what you guys think about how to call if you've been there recently Like is it more touristy? Is it just me because I haven't been there in a little bit? Um, I don't know, it's just like maybe a different vibe when you live there slash when you're coming back visiting. But um, regardless, I love it always, always will. I am so close to a thousand subs now. So if you're watching this and you're not subbed, I would love it if you could hit subscribe below. It just takes a second um, and I would really, really appreciate that. Uh, when I am going to try to do like a giveaway or something for when I get to a thousand subs, uh, if I can put that together, so that would be fun. So thank you guys as always for watching and let me know um, any other video ideas or questions that you have below. As you know, I always love answering those. Uh, so that would be great. As I'm like dropping the phone, I'm filming this on my phone. The whole video is on my phone, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you guys soon. Bye.